G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I'm gonna do another clock. Well, I'm gonna try and do another clock. I don't know why I've been struggling with big pieces. If you saw my previous two clocks, you saw that they kind of bloomed from there out and didn't do so much in the middle, but I'm gonna try again. Now, I've mixed up my black. I've got the Platinum 360 Plus to do my black and I've just added some black pigment paste to that. Now I put it in the piping bag just because it makes it so much easier to get into all the little numbers. So I'll get started and I'm going to put you on time lapse while I do it because it takes a little while. And I am going to try a different resin because the last two clocks I did well, actually, no, I've done, <laughs> you haven't seen them all. I did two with the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, I did one with the Platinum Ultra Clear. Um, yeah, I, I, I missed up my timing. I was, I was downstairs and I forgot that I had resin and anyway, didn't work. So I'm going to go again. I'm just going to make a tiny little hole because I don't want it like, oozing everywhere so I'm gonna go with the still got some half a bottle of each A and B the pro marine tabletop it's a thick resin it's a one-to-one -one. so I'm gonna have a go with that I'm still waiting for my new platinum um, thick resin to come they're still making me something so I have to be patient and wait for it but in the meantime I want to see if I can get this right so I'm just filling in my numbers so it makes it much easier if you can just pipe them in catch your drops if you do spill just use a baby wipe I might as well just keep going look by the time I've stopped taking taking my glove off pressed pause come back down put my glove back on kept going might as well just do it hey just do it it goes pretty quickly if you're using your little piping bag and just don't make the hole too big otherwise um, you'll be in a world of hurt and it'll just overflow everywhere so make the little hole small you can always push or squeeze to get a little bit more out it's gonna wind this up a bit I just made up 30 grams of A and 14 grams of B, just in the Platinum 360 Plus, because I know that um, I'm going to be able to pour on top of this in about two hours. It'll be set enough for me to do the next layer, which is my Bloom layer. So that's why I've chosen this one. It sets up nice and fast. You can demold in like five, six hours. Number three, and I'm going with black again. I know you've seen black, black, black numbers, but I want to use my clock mechanisms, which are black. You can also spray the mechanisms. I've got some, I think I've still got some left, the clock mechanisms for this clock mold in my eBay store. There's only black left, but I have done previously, um, spray painted them, gold or silver or white whatever color you want you can just spray paint them because they're metal so you can actually choose whatever color you want but i just wanted to do just the black i think the black stands out really nicely against the blooms so there we go that's done i'm just going to have a little bit more of a play with it i'm going to fill up uh fill them all up a little bit more and then i will see you for the next layer so See you soon. Righto guys, I'm back. I've made up my resin. Um, I decided not to change resins. I decided to go back to the uh, Platinum 360 Plus. I think if you're going to try things, you need to just work with the same resin. Okay, and it's just hit 40.4. So. I'm going to decant that. I'm going to get my other glove on real quick. 
My little numbers are touched dry. Uh, it was about three hours ago that I poured my numbers. So most of that's going in there. I'm going to just take 30 grams or one ounce and put it into each of my little cups. Just off camera here to the side. Because I can't fit everything on my space. I don't have enough room. Alright, so that's 30. And another 30. And hopefully that will be enough. Actually, that one's got 35. <laughs> okay, and the rest of it's going in here. So I made up three cups of resin. I did 525 grams of A and 225 grams of B. So it's not exactly two to one because, well, not when you're weighing it anyway, because A is heavier than B. But if you're doing it by volume, um, you know, you can do two to one. All right, so that's that done. Let me just clean up my little duvalaki here. So I have tried, I have tried this big clock with the flowers for, oh my gosh, you've only seen two. Let's just say I've done more than two, all right, and I've been struggling. I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it just because I've got such a bigger piece? Um, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, I've been really struggling with doing a bigger piece so today because what I think it is um, like I start sort of doing my little petals and then by the time I've moved moved out like the resin started to set up already so yeah I'm just going to try and um, do it a little bit faster so this is the um, just resin titanium white. I'm stirring, I'm wiping the top, wiping the bottom. I'm just going to stick the tip just to get a little bit there. Stick the tip. That's the titanium white. I'm going to add uh, probably six. Make sure you give it a really good shake. It separates. Probably six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so yeah, um, I've been really struggling with it and every time I fail, I say, that's it, I'm giving up, I'm not doing it again because it's such a large amount of resin to waste. And then I thought, you know, the, the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result at the end. So I thought, okay, I'm going to change it up, I'm going to go to piping because I can, I can do a small thing piece you know with drawing my petals on with the stick or the silicone brush but once I'm getting to this bigger size I'm having trouble so I thought how about I go back to the old-fashioned piping bag and just see oh, I forgot to drop my colors and just see if I can get a better effect all right let me do my colors I'm nearly out I've been doing so many of these I'm really frustrated now now this is the midnight blue from let's resin and then we have the Azure Blue from Let's Resin. Let's see if I can get maybe not so much colour, get a little bit of the white peeking through. And then Turquoise from Deco Rom. It's just an El Cheapo brand from Amazon. Seems to work nicely though. And then, forget me not, light blue, also by Deco Rom. And I'm really running out of inks because I've done so many of these now. I'm going to have to get some more. All right, now over here, I'm just going to try and kind of blend a little bit. Running out, running out. And a little 
bit more of this one just sort of in between just kind of blend those colors together it's just so that I don't have like a ring of blue and a ring of green you know just trying to kind of blend a little bit and I better check the temperature on these um, quarter 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, okay I think it's 20 minutes is up now I'm gonna go by temperature I want these to get back up to 40 degrees all right let's double check these I don't get much time that's the other thing I don't get much time when I'm doing such a big piece it takes me longer to get organized and then by the time I'm finally ready like I've gone over my 40 degrees so just got to be careful 37 and 38 Come back to that in a sec. I just want to put a bit more, a little bit of blue just up here, a bit of a darker blue. Oh gosh, hang on, that was the wrong one. All right, back up to my temperature. Here we go. Try not to drop it in. 37, 38. Hope it works this time. I keep saying to myself, okay, we're nearly at 40 degrees. So by the time I've got it into its piping bag, um, we should be good. So I'll just do that. I just have to clean this little tip off before I do anything else. All right, I've got two piping bags. Um, this is going to split it just so that I haven't got too much in one bag and it's like getting too hot. So I'm just going to split that. So yeah, another one of my, my thoughts with why the others haven't been working. Um, I did one that, you know, one clock and it, it sort of worked. It was it was pretty good, but it wasn't, wasn't perfect. So, um, my theory is maybe when I'm doing my piping with my little stick, I'm thinking I'm pushing it too far in and it's almost like touching the bottom of the mould. Um, and maybe it's kind of just getting stuck on the bottom and it's not moving. So I'm gonna, this is another theory I'm trying to, I'm going to try this, is see if it'll just sort of float on top. Now, okay, I think that's a decent size coming out. All right, you guys, <laughs> let me just write this down, 3.06, 3.06 p.m., all right, oh gosh, all right, wish me luck, here I go, I'm going to pipe petals, I'm not going to do rings, I'm going to pipe petals. And we'll see how we go. The only issue with piping pe petals, <laughs> piping petals, is that um, where you stop and start, you get a bit of a blob. You might be able to see it. I will go through afterwards and try and smooth out those blobs. I'll try and slow down a little bit. You tend to like drag, and then part of it's not as thick if you sort of drag your your white. So I'm going to try and just slow down and not have it drag so much. I'll just keep going with this one and then when I run out I'll change to my other bag if I need to. Maybe I don't need to but probably will need to. It's been so long since I've used a piping bag, almost forgotten what to do. that down a little bit you do need to make sure that you have a relatively thick line when you're piping if it's too thin the resin won't spread I'm gonna go to my other bag yeah, if it's too if, it, if it's too thin your resin won't spread it far enough now let's 
see if I can get this to be the same size. Sort of about four to five millimeters wide that I'm cutting it. Now we'll go through in a minute and try and smooth out any blobs if I can see them. Right, I'm going to keep going. I'll do this one and then one more row. Try and get as close to the outside as I can. Um, because the resin really pulls from the outside in. If you don't do this, you could be left with quite a big blank area. And try not to touch the side of the mould if at all possible because the resin will stick to it and um, not want to move, not want to bloom. So try not to touch the mould if you can. Now if this doesn't work, I seriously may give up. Now, seri now I'll, I'll tell you, full disclosure, this is number seven that I've done. Number seven. So I'm getting quite frustrated. I've used, wasted a lot of resin, but I'm more upset about my ink that I'm wasting because um, a lot of it I can't buy here in Australia. So I'm really upset about that. More so than my resin. Now it's going to clean off my little sticks here. Throw away my little rubbishy stuff. Clean off my hands with my alcohol. All right. Now, um, give it a quick torch. I am going to swirl the metal, but I'm going to do it in a minute. I'm, I want to just wait until the resins had a chance to thicken up a little bit more. And then I'm going to swirl the middle. But for now, I just want to come in and just break up some big blobs. Bear with me, this is going to take a little while. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. Just fast forward. But I need to just, if I see a big blob, I need to just break it up tricky when it's like that on top of another petal and <laughs> you think oh my gosh if I break that up I'm going to destroy my other petal oh my gosh you guys I think it's blooming look oh my gosh I seriously I could cry this is number seven I've been I've been so disheartened I thought, what am I doing wrong why can't I do this and I was so close to giving up. Every, t every day I go, okay, that's it. I can't, I just I can't do this anymore. What's wrong with me? I can't do it. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more. And then like I said, you know, I kept doing the same thing over and over. And then I thought, well, I must be doing something, something wrong. It must be, I must be pushing the resin too far in. Now I wanna put some more black, and uh, not black, midnight blue there. All right, now let's swirl from about here. And hopefully the blue will stay. Sometimes when I don't put enough white into the, um, into the center, it's just blue. It, it, yeah, it doesn't work. There's no, no color, no white in the middle. I'm so tempted to get my heat gun out and try and blow it around a little bit, but I think I should just leave it. It's a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat just, you know, gets it going, gets it moving. So, hopefully, hopefully, it'll, oh gosh. Just keep staring at it, looking at it, and going, "Okay, are you blooming? Are you blooming? Why you're you're not blooming? Why aren't you blooming over there?" I 
you just be patient. Like sometimes it can take, I was looking back on my videos um, and on one of them I checked back after like half an hour and it hadn't closed up and then I thought, oh, it's not working. I came back after an hour and it all closed up. So I'm going to try not to stress too much, if that's possible. Lucky number seven. Oh my God. It, it is it is like blooming a little bit. Um, turn my air conditioner off. I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it. I'll turn it off just in case because it's sort of blowing cold air across the top. I have no idea if that's going to make any difference or not. But yeah, I'll just turn it off. I'm just getting my glove off. Oh, phew. All right. And I never know whether to give it some more heat or not give it any more heat because the more you heat it, sort of the thinner the resin gets and then your white's likely to sort of drop down. So I'm going to bring you down anyway and we'll have a little look and see what it's doing. Okay, guys. Um, the outside is blooming beautifully as it always does. Now if I look really carefully, let me see if I can zoom you in, it won't let me zoom, okay, if I look down in here, oh, I don't know if you can see, see that there? It looks as if it's just hit the bottom and not going to bloom. There, it looks okay. Actually, I can feel the heat coming off that. Um, but yeah, I can, I can see some areas that it's just kind of dropped. Now I'm worried that I've overheated it. <laughs> because also, you know, if you overheat it, um, the resin gets thin again and the white just drops. But um, my, my trouble was always that the outside bloomed beautifully but the the middle didn't and I can see there it's not not blooming totally but look it's looking it's probably looking better than the previous ones so yeah I probably just have to restrain myself from heating it and just wait which I didn't do I gave it a bit more heat so anyway um, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow wish me luck Hello right, guys, I'm back, it's the next day, and uh, we'll have a little look at this one. Now, I know it's going to be blobby, I can see that it hasn't um, bloomed properly, but I'm going to have a little look and see how it's turned out. Alright, I guess they don't all have to be perfect. I mean, I try and get them as perfect as I can, but don't always work the way I want them to work. All right, move that out of the way. Oh, I'll put you there. All right. Are we ready? I'll flip it towards me. That way the 12 will be at the top. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, look, I know. I knew I had the blobbies. But it's okay, like I don't, I don't mind it. Look at the beautiful colours we've got. We've got the white, and it gets like a blue turquoise, and then we've got the darker blue in the centre there. What do you think? I know it's not perfect, but I'm really struggling with these, <laughs> the bigger ones. I can do small ones, no problem. But the bigger ones, um, yeah. So I think I put, I made my whole in the bag too big so I've got way too much white coming out and of course it's heavy so it sinks so definitely going to have another go at it I'm determined to get it right um, and we'll see how that see if it see if I can improve on it but there we go that's it so uh, it's not a bad it's not bad look and, and then you know with the black numbers not the numbers the black um, clock mechanism on it it should look quite nice so there we go, there's that one. It's huge, isn't it? Now I do apologise for my shaking of the video. Um, I've got a timber floor, so every time I walk on it, it shakes the, um, the camera. 
Right, so there it is. All right, definitely we'll keep doing these. I will keep doing them until I get it right. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you're enjoying them. Hope you're learning something. And um, I'll see you for the next video. Okay, bye for now.